When are you too old to be watching cartoons? Answer, whenever I feel like. I deserve to watch whatever I feel like. You know why? Because this is just a TV show. Hey, shut your yap! We're trying to watch TV here! Maybe you'll learn something from it, but just for enjoying a TV show, movie, game, song, in the privacy of your home doesn't define you. It's just a show. It doesn't have any f***ing effect on me for f***'s sake. It won't make you an inferior or superior person. You say cartoons are for kids because of that age rating. In the same way a PG-13 movie is made for 13 year olds and no one else is allowed to watch them. No one. The age rating doesn't mean it's made for kids, it's that it's appropriate for kids. Choosing to only enjoy stuff rated for an older audience doesn't at all make you more mature, it just means you're insecure about what others think of you over such trivial things. If it was any good, it shouldn't matter the age rating. The adults who make these cartoons typically write them based on what would interest them. We just write it to make ourselves laugh, and luckily that's uh, other people laugh at the same things that we do. We're making it for ourselves. Like everybody on the show, we're like a fan of the show and we just like trying to make each other laugh. When you write what you think is funny or interesting, someone out there is bound to feel the same. We never really made the show for kids. We always just made it for us. But you never know whether it's, it's gonna hit or not. But we just trusted our own instinct and made the kind of movies we wanted to see. Why write for children? I don't write for children. You don't? No, I write and somebody says, that's for children. From the beginning, cartoons were always made for everyone. Since the 20s through 60s, animated shorts like the Looney Tunes were played in movie theaters and drive-ins before films. Generally, it was for all ages. Occasionally, inappropriate stuff was snuck in. TV later became more prominent. Hanna-Barbera Studios made their animation more affordable and marketable towards children since they felt adults wouldn't get past their more limited animation. And that's where the stigma came to be. Multiple attempts have been made to make more mature theatrical animation, but never did that break into mainstream success. At most, people today accept animation as comedy and they think there's only comedy in animation. It's... it's not. No. Stupid. Then there's people who think a cartoon can't have a good story. If a story was good, it shouldn't matter that it's animated. <laughs> Stupid. If anything, that should value it more. Can you do this? I don't think so. Hang on, let me push the, uh, make a cartoon button on my Macintosh. Oops. Animation is a massive group project. Every single object has to be designed. Basic stuff you take for granted requires far more effort than you'd expect. People spend their whole life learning to art. No one's born being a good drawer. Animation is for everyone, sometimes not appropriate for everyone, so hopefully this video changed someone's minds. If not, then they're stupid. The cartoon audience is a whopping 44.6% adults. And why not? We grew up on cartoons. These characters are like members of our families. Animation is art. Art! If someone makes you feel bad solely for watching cartoons, it just means that person thinks he's superior because of the TV shows he watches, and that means he ain't got nothing worth bragging about. Come on! It's a beautiful sunny day, and the future looks bright! Wanna go inside to watch TV? Duh! Temperature is rising, must be country summer. Time to shows all for you, this is Primetime on Cartoon Network. Samurai Jack. The Powerpuff Girls. Scooby-Doo. Dexter's Laboratory. Courage the Cowardly Dog. The Flintstones. Johnny Bravo. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Tune in to Primetime tonight at 7 on Cartoon Network.